Hi, my name is Sarah, and today I'm going to be reacting to Dinga and Aya by Mamamoo. I have no idea if that's how you pronounce the song titles, but I'm just gonna go for it. So Mamamoo had a comeback and I actually pretty recently reacted to Mamamoo because I still had to catch up with something else that they had released. But we are here for the comeback. I'm really excited. Dinga, I think, was a pre-release for the comeback and I haven't seen that either. So we're gonna react to both of them today right now. We're gonna start with Dinga. If you haven't seen any of my Mamamoo reactions, I really like them. My bias is Moonbyul. And I guess my bias record would be Huyin. But I really love all of them and they're all so great and talented and I'm super excited. Yes, I'm not gonna talk too much, we're gonna just uh, straight up get into it. Before though, if you liked this video at the end of it, please don't forget to leave me a like and maybe consider subscribing. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday reactions and sometimes other things. And I also just opened up a Patreon account, so if you want to support me there, uh, go check it out. And if you don't, then enjoy this video. Well, enjoy the video either way. Yes, let's get into to Dinga. The first thing I see is vitamin D, which um, reminds me of um, Ape Shit by The Carters, which is a great song. He wanna give me the vitamin D. Ice ornaments, ice style tournaments. You ain't out of this. Don't think they on this. You, 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 you. Let's go, Dinga. I'm super excited. I'm sure it's gonna be so good. And also, already looks a little bit retro-ish, which reminds me of Wanna Be Myself, which was so good. So I'm excited. Let's get into Dinga by Mamamoo. Okay, I thought there was no audio, but there is audio. Oh, she not wearing that in hip? already super fun. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's fun. Back with the disco. Um, Solar, your pants are unbuttoned. <laughs> I love her with black hair, she looks so good. Yes. Oh, I love the choreography. You too, what are you doing? This is all on purpose, I know. Oh, okay. I thought she was looking through a hole in the wall. I was like, who are you peeping on? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's so cool. Oh, they were looking at me. Ooh. Is that like a teaser for the comeback? Thank God I didn't watch this before the comeback because I would have been spoiled a little bit. Yay! First of all, I love the song. It's super fun. It's disco. It's... I don't know if this is necessarily 80s, but it's... I think it's more modern. It sounds more modern, but it's definitely disco and I love it because I love disco music. And it's so much fun in the beginning already. The first thing you heard was just so much fun and I love it. I love Mamamoo's... Just their relationship, you can tell in every video that they just have so much fun together that it's not just like staged laughing but they actually love being around each other and they have so much fun. It's, it's really infectious and it makes me really happy to see them like all smiley and dancing and having fun. I want to say a few things. First of all, they're looking at me because I'm trash. But um, tss, no. That was a joke there. I don't know if you understood that. Here, yeah, I thought she was, I thought Moonbyul was like looking through a hole in the wall. I thought she was peeping on someone. I didn't even realize that they were playing a game. <laughs> I'm so antisocial that I don't remember that you play games with your friends. Then I wanted to say that someone must have seen all of my reactions and they must have been like, she likes Moonbyul and Huyin. Let's give her this dance break with Moonbyul and Huyin love it they're so good i really expected all four of them to dance but it was only them too so i think someone put that in there on purpose just for me and all of this all of them in the camera it's like yeah hey this for you this for you sarah and i'm like thanks they're so good i love their styling i love their outfits i love the sets i love the colors everything is super bright everything is super playful love the song have nothing i have nothing against this in the slightest. I love Solar with black hair, she looks so good. Here in the beginning, I was like, oh cool, look, they did like a thing where they added the square. I'm sure that Moonbyul and, and Solar are also gonna be in a square because that's so funny. It I didn't even realize that it, this was supposed to be like a video call. Took me a second to realize it, um, but um, I, I did eventually. So they're partying over the phone. Ooh, at some point I found myself so distant from society. So I guess this is kind of a song about the quarantine, maybe? I mean, they're also wearing masks later. I really, really love the sets. Like, it's very clear that they are sets, that it's not a real location, but it doesn't matter because they're so fun and they're so playful. It doesn't um, subtract from the quality or anything. Love all the neon. I always love neon, so yay. This is kind of actually the aesthetic that I would have liked for Wanna Be Myself. This is exactly what I was kind of thinking of, like just more fun and more like neon and more, yeah, more fun, more like a party rather than the way it looked. But then a lot of you told me in the comments that it was like a commercial film. I didn't know that when I watched it, so that makes a lot more sense. It was a commercial film for, I think, sportswear. So obviously that makes a lot more sense that it's more toned down and that really the clothes are in the in the forefront and that the colors are more similar to the clothes and that obviously the set isn't supposed to distract from the clothes. So that made a lot more sense. But if it wasn't a commercial film, if, if it was just a music video, this is kind of what I would have imagined it to look like. Just very colorful and fun and playful. Oh, I love this. Oh my God, they're so good. Oh, I love them so much. Look at them, oh my god. Those two bitches, how dare you? Who said that only you two should dance? I really expected Solar and Hwasa to also go there, but they didn't. It was just these two, it's suspicious. It's suspicious. I swear, someone did this just for me. The set dressing and the production design is really absolutely the most like eye-catching thing and the outstanding thing in this video. Editing is kind of just, I mean, editing is fun too, but it's not in the forefront. It's not the thing that I notice, but I definitely loved it. It was a lot of fun. I'm gonna read the lyrics. Playing, yeah, dinga, dinga, dinga. But you're not translating what dinga means. You're just saying dinga, the heck? Why am I reading it there? Literally, there are subtitles on the video. Am I stupid? Don't answer that. Oh, dinga, dinga, I wanna play around. I wanna call my friends and have a drink. Yep, this summer has all gone by. Cold sweat is breaking out, yep. Day or night, I'm just spinning around in the same place. Yup. 
my friend is this fruit fly. Lonely keeps building up. <laughs> my friend is this fruit fly. <laughs> so is dinga just like a exclamation of like f having fun? Or like, is does it mean having fun? Driving with a phone game, time is ticking, ticking. Don't drive with a phone game. It's interesting, this, I feel like this song kind of has the same message as a Zombie by Day 6, but there are such different songs. Like this one is like the, I'm fucking tired of it. I'm gonna go out and have fun and the other side is like I'm depressed as shit and I'm crying in my bed all day where else would I cry I can't leave my house so it's really interesting I do have to say that I'm of course super jealous because they're saying I'm tired of being alone but at the same time they're all hanging out together and having fun so I'm like I want to do that too um, but I can't. But okay, let's move on to the comeback which is Aya. Aya is something I say if I like hurt myself I'm like Aya let's go Mm. Ah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, won't be all... Kinda looks like... Uh, okay, never mind. I can't concentrate. Ooh, wow. Oh. oh wow, there is a lot of elements to this video. <laughs> I need to watch. Oh my god. I can't, I can't concentrate <laughs> on what I'm trying to say. Oh. Okay, here we go. I was kind of waiting for the bass in the, in the chorus. I was like, oh. Oh, there we go. Her choreo got... Choreography kind of reminds me of Maria. I'm excited to watch, like, click through this again. The, the song is very different from what I expected. I like it. Oh my god, I love solar with black hair. I cannot stress that enough. Oh my god. Oh, that, oh my god, that effect was weird. Ooh, I like this part. Okay, this is okay. Yeah. Okay, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for like the 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 big thing. I felt like the chorus was a little bit underwhelming almost until the bass came in, and then I was like, okay. But then the, the the very end here, that's kind of the thing that I was waiting for. So I'm glad it's there. Okay, that's a lot. So first of all, I like the song. Now that I heard that ending bit, I definitely like it a lot. 
I was kind of feeling a little bit underwhelmed while I was listening. I was like, okay, this is good. Like, where's like the the punch kind of thing? It came at the very end. So now when I listen to it, I know that it's coming. So I'm excited. So I like I like the song. Definitely like the the aya part because also they're like that effect like the uh thing it's interesting when you listen to it with the headphones so that's cool the video has so many elements and so many like different sets and storylines that i have to go like through it again I'm, i was already excited to do that because it looked great i wanted to say here that she kind of reminds me of dekai komani moonbyul with that long hair it's not quite as light as in that video but reminds me of it win oh my god oh my god she so good that heavy eyeshadow on her and the bangs i love her with bangs oh my god she looks stunning stunning in this video and then here oh my god solar's hair oh a dream and then moonbyul in the white in the white this oh my god she looks so good in this white like suit kind of thing with her long hair oh i think i'm gonna first read the lyrics a rotten tooth needs to be pulled out ah yeah Oh, does it mean like if someone gets hurt? Now we pointing arrows at each other. Oh, I see. So I guess it's kind of like Aya is actually like I said, it's kind of like a sound of oh, it that hurts. But in this case, it's like a breaking up is what hurts. But like just like not very much, just like ow, and that's it. I think that like that's what I'm understanding from the lyrics, but I don't know if that's accurate. Okay, I'm not I'm not exactly sure if I got their interpretation of the lyrics right, but that's kind of what I understand. I do like that the video starts and ends oops, in the same ah in the same place. That's really cool and kind of with very similar camera angles too. As I said, there are a lot of elements in this video from a visual standpoint, like so many sets and so many um, setups that all get come together to create like one story i can't necessarily figure out the story in the video i think it's very small very subtle like moonbyul's story is like the arrow thing i guess and then i don't have no idea what solar is doing like it's just the place where they cry and they like put the tears in this thing i have no idea <laughs> so from a story standpoint i don't really know what's going on but i rarely ever do i like that they are actually wearing actual masks underneath this it's a creative way to like incorporate masks into your videos like if there's some kind of like jewelry that is covering the mouth anyway then you just actually put an actual mask underneath it that's pretty smart or maybe it is like that already i have no idea yeah there's so many different sets there's like a lot of set dressing and there's so much production design and set dressing in this video like look at this look at this whole setting look how far back it goes like all the way back here and then the fire thing it's like oh wow so much so much detail it's really interesting it looks really pretty and it gives it a lot of like production value but the production value is really like all of these patterns combined and all of this like this was built someone must have built this so like it's really very impressive i wanted to read what what it says on these tooth oh she oh cool i wanted to read what it said on these um of these tomb tombstones the whole time but this is supposed to look like a mouth and she's like a rotten tooth needs to be pulled out so she's like destroying the graves as in she's pulling out the tooth that hurts which is kind of a metaphor for the bad relationship <laughs> yeah there's i mean there's not a lot that i can say like it seems to be just like it's kind of similar to dinga obviously a super different aesthetic and a, like a super different style of song and like aesthetic in the video but on the production level it seems to be similar where the focus is really on the production design and the set dressing the choreography rather than like really outstanding uh, noticeable crazy lighting or editing i love uh, even though i love this the colors again the blue and red it's such a beautiful color combination yeah there's so many patterns and like elements in this video it's wow it's it's a lot it's a lot but there then we have these kind of calmer sections here really the only thing with the pattern is the, are the walls but they're not the focus of the shot so we get to breathe every now and then with the close-ups because you know there's a lot more there's just a lot less textures in everything because everything else has so many textures it's it could get very overwhelming and very like yeah overwhelming to the eye to constantly be seeing so many textures everywhere i don't know if this is a location with that roof 
part here with this section here up here i don't know if someone built that or if this is an actual location but either way it's super cool and i also love the detail that they have sand on the ground and not just like a normal floor here we have some like visual effects with the lighting which i totally love it gives the whole because it obviously it's not real but it makes gives the illusion as if we're actually outside and everything else looks very like very much like a set so this is really nice like a nice addition that kind of breaks it up a little bit to give the illusion that something is like real and like practical real location which actually they might some of them things might be real locations but yeah if that makes sense mumio's outfit kind of reminds me of star wars i don't know why like this kind of reminds me of like the rays kind of thing but like more high up she looks like a commander in a star wars film obviously this thing is like a visual effect you can kind of tell because it's weirdly like i don't know what's going on here like this kind of effect i don't know what that is about but yeah it doesn't look super real but i mean whoever whatever they spent so much money probably on the production design the set dressing that that's not really a deal breaker i can't really say too much else about the video i definitely like it i like the song um especially at the end it tied everything together I like the video too, I love the choreography, but I guess, I think I would say that I prefer Dinga, just because it's a little, it's just like more pure fun and like lighthearted and the video is just like more clear and neon themed rather than all of these different textures and styles and like patterns, which I personally just gravitate towards the like neon look but definitely both songs are great and they are great and they're super talented as we all know so yes amazing thank you mamamoo for sharing your talents with us i'm excited to listen to the album thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much to my patrons if you are interested in becoming a patron then check out my patreon the link is in the description yeah thanks so much for watching bye